What is up guys, this is your boy one to one and I'm here with another cop me. Straight off the video of the pool party with straight into the carriage cup. Not even a week into it. Now we have to start off with the normal event of the crusade we're going to unlock. Now he is with the robot coach, so he's a robot and he's going to be I guess kinda of human. But he swaps with Kayomi so he therefore takes the Next slot, because Kaomi is the 24th slot. Yeah, 21st, excuse me, 24th, 25th slot. Yeah. And it starts switching, which is fine. That will be good. It'll be done in the long run, and it'll be straightforward and simple, which would be awesome. But first, we had the challenge, so as also, we always have the first challenge to unlock him. Which is going to area 500 with just taking a formation slot, which is there like a football. And we have. They have to be close to him. Because Crusader's DPS is reduced the further the away they from the character he is. Now, it kind of means the threat I'll be running at the moment with Emma Werewolf, which might be difficult. It might buff him up. I'll have to find it out. I'll show you what it looks like the moment. I decide to reset this challenge. So, this is what it looks like. So, we have the Bricks to Mobile Coach, and the way it works is the further people away, the less happens. So, they got all the ability. He has already gets knocked down by, if I can get the exact answer, but the Mackie further away is a complete jet top. All of I see, 100%. The other thing, I believe is 50%, but I need to make a double check to say because it takes a while for these stats to appear on top of each other. Uh, no, it's 80%. I mean, I'm, I am pretty going through this, is fine. It's not problematic when we get to 750. Just trying to find out how much damage is actually knocking you down in the long run. 95. And these ones are fine. So yeah, 95 and fine. Oh yeah, yeah. So you have to be bugger wall. Oh, uh, that's really interesting. Anyway, I'm slowly getting there. It goes to 7 to 500, which is not that difficult at all. If you just push through, my how much me doing. That is fine. I'm going to do well, and I'm happy with that. And I will show you when I get a little bit closer. And we're done. I decided to do a real simple, as you say. Like I said, to just get a buff going on so we can get the extra drops, the usual. That was going to be a really good key for these easy challenges because if we get there quickly, the quicker I can move on to the next challenge, like this next one here. The professionals. It go to area 600 with the, just the Carnage Cup Crusaders and then some special mentions. Bushwhacker, Nate, and then all three can be done. That sounds interesting. I'll show you how close we go. But first, I will show you what is the Robo Coach's abilities are. Unlock him in the Kaimi slot. It's a 600 challenge with just a carnage cup and new special abilities, and I'm going pretty good. So I think I'll get this kind of pretty quickly. There's no wiki challenge going on, but anyway, what I have to show you guys is what I said to is a Robo Coach. We have call to play, DPS of all crusaders by 10%. I should probably use that now. You have the non binary pep talk increases the base DPS of crusaders in front of grids by 30%, by 50%. For each slot, they are from Robocup. They are. Then we return 5 levels, the 500 bonus. Then a go one, contract renegotiation. Your grid's confirmed and has expired. Press the new subscription to continue using grid's robo coach. Oh wow. Increases all the gold found for 25% for each because has 3 slots away from grits. That is affected by non binary pip talk. Because it's either money or the um, DPS, I think. A risky play. You get the extra piece of Crusader by 20. Sometimes you just have to go with your cold metal gut. Favoritism plays with higher uptime of greater value and increases the robot for people to get 100% more greater points. So it's going to be running with further away in robots. And 
Model plus the effect of non binary pip talking is preceded by a number of crusaders that are in the same distance as them. So if you have your furthest away, which would be him, one. So if I was going to do the greatest job and try and make it spread it out, very I would need to put grids in the middle and everyone else on the edges to cause the increase of the DPS, cause it kinda sounds like what it's supposed to be. Anywho, because I've been told you can now, still 100% because. Who's the furthest away? Oh, in front of them. Okay, so if you go put them in the back and then you buff the front guys, everybody gets the buff. But, uh. Okay, fine. And then more money, more pip top. Okay. It's a buff one, it's a support, a major support, which is good for me, and I can make it work. But, again, it's close. Next to check the ball B to 650, with offside play. He takes up the four lines, that's the defenders, and Crusaders in front of him have the formation abilities disabled. And the backs have their DPS disabled, but they have their formation abilities. <laughs> I will put my two, my two, three, believe ones, the buff up, the damage one, something else up there. And I'm probably going to have to have the grits in the back and the, my strong guys in the front. I think I got a plan. I think I got a plan. Let's find out. Well, we did do that one before to get 650 while having one half dude and the other half. This one is slightly different, and as you can see, it's called Hot Potato, and you have the three footballs that move around and they knock out the DPS and the formation abilities of the ones on it. And it's as simple as it is, and it's a race it is to get to 700, which isn't too bad, and it'll be pretty well done if I just do a user reject because I haven't, because I let it run to like 200 before I do a reject because I got enough DPS to push it forward for that. I'll show what it looks like after I get to 200 or so when I can. Get enough money to do some most of it's working. And now uh, it's 500, not 200 as I promised, but it's my normal rejig. Yes, I have the two to an increase. I've gotten uh, as the we emo werewolf is completely surrounded, get these to DPS with non human. So, yay. Alright, <laughs> anyway, I also have once well, they increase the back behind him. Um, we also have him doing it as well, depending on how much of the DP Storm Rider is, so it's good. He's doing it beside him for order friendly fire, based on depending beside him. You have a lot of aiming buff only towards him, and that's that. And then adds this message in a bit. And also, if it's looking, I'm spoiling a lot of these tokens. Long story short, if you leave your computer and shut off mode, or at least like, shut down. Each kill will give you at least one, and if you're away for like four hours, you probably are going to have a lot of tokens building up. In the last like hour, or like two minutes, I've gained about five grand. Yeah, but that's because of how long my computer was turned off for. It'll come to a point where it will no longer occur. Because then the clock will be back with the time of the actual normal challenge. Mm. How long that takes is anyone's guess. So I believe we have to, we'll do well. We will smash this to 700 without even a care in the world. Let's have a quick look at the challenge. And the final challenge is another 2,500 point points. That's fine because of the fight game I earned. You have a pickup truck occupies the front few slots. And if the truck is destroyed, it's a wipe. Not too bad, it's just a case of having a rejig easy. I have an idea, but first I need to finish it. Yay! And we're done, I'm at 7025, we're going in a pretty, I guess, alright state. I'm gonna move on because we've got one more left to do for this day with two days left, which is actually pretty good timing. Is to go 750 by hands off the track, as I said before, so just before I ended it, the truck is in the way. So I'm going to reset it and show you what the truck looks like. And here we are. This is the last one. So the boat is the, 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 the huge gone because I killed it. 
and I ran through. So surprisingly, it was supposed to be a fail, because that's what it says there. If the truck is destroyed, you will wipe. So it's a case of continuously updating it and upgrading it. So I'm going to have to work on an email going stupidly crazy, and it's going to be the one that gets buffed up to no tomorrow. And I mean no tomorrow, because that way I can get enough power to push through without worrying about anything else. It's going to be fun. I'll be back with an, my proper, I guess, run out. Well, out. And I am done. I am done with this one right now. I can reset now. <coughs> if I mean it, but I probably will. Because I have like, one more couple points to go for the last seven. Yeah, so I'll reset it and then get the last one done with 16 hours left. Easy peasy. This is not too bad. Overall, this was a good tier 3. The challenge was fine. The character you unlocked is even alright. You can just work around them and it makes it work. Come on, it's a pretty good one and you can make it work if you get the right gear or not. And, uh, yeah. Um, yay. My opening, there's gonna be no other opening to fill up the slots for the last two guys. She ended the collection of the scene for. And the guy for this one, the character coach. Who is a couple of rubber coach? And then there will be a legendary upgrading episode 2. I'm gonna get forward to it. I've been way too much as you saw in my opening before. Apart from that, yay! I can't wait. Openings. Yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching my videos. This is your boy Watersboy991. Thank you, subscribe, comment, and like to my videos. And I'll show you more. I've got live streams. Every so often, I got this cutly as always, and I do have other stuff here and there. But keep on watching, guys, and stay stay a while and chat, and I'll see you later. Catch you later. Bye.